Today I'm going to give you a preview of the JD Rob in Death series and I'll tell you a little bit about JD Rob's world. The In Death series is written by JD Rob, which is a pseudonym for Nora Roberts, but we didn't find that out until the twelfth book. What I wanted to do today was give you a brief outline of the world that the In Death series is set in, so that you have some idea of, of what happens between our time and their time. Okay, Lieutenant Eve Dallas is a homicide detective in the New York Police and Security Department, the NYPSD, 50 years from now. Now remember that the in Death series started in 1995, so 50 years would make it uh, 2045, so, but the series is actually set, the first book, in 2058. At the beginning of the series, Eve is locked away behind a tough outer shell. Her only friends are her former partner, Detective Fanny, and Mavis Freestone, a former street grifter who now sings in clubs. Her costumes and songs are apparently quite out there, even for 2058, but Eve loves her anyway. Then she meets Rourke, a rich Irish businessman with a shady past. The attraction between them is immediate. They change each other in many ways, small to large. The series is as much about these changes as it is about the murder cases that Eve takes on. Hence you could call this a romance series, except the only real romance throughout the series is Eve and Rocks. As the series develops, new characters are introduced in each book and we learn more about them as they join Eve's expanding group of friends. Their lives develop and change too. Nora Roberts is an excellent writer and makes us care about these side characters as well. The mysteries or crime procedurals are well written even when we know who done it from the start. Nora makes us want to see how Eve digs out all the nasty details and brings the perp to justice. The series is also outstanding science fiction. The world which Eve inhabits had a time period called the Urban Wars between our time and theirs. It's never explicitly explained because it's part of their recent history which the characters take for granted. But America and Europe were under attack for years by foreign and domestic terrorists, with cities burning, people dying by the millions, mass starvation and disease. Among the results are an international network of medical professionals, an international internet watched over by an organisation called CompuGuard, everyone's records being on the net from birth, Washington DC was nuked and the government now operates out of East Washington. Other details include Southern California had the biggest earthquake ever. Los Angeles is gone, but New LA thrives. Everyone has PPCs and or links, as well as desktop computers. Supersonic transports, shuttles and orbital hotels exist. Inhabited structures, including high security prisons, are spread all over the solar system. Robots are everywhere all called droids, whether they are androids or simple mechanical. Droid pets, especially cats and dogs, are common. AI is quite advanced and computers process commands in natural language and respond the same way. A variety of brand name illegal recreational substances exist. For example, Zona, Zeus, Exotica, Rabbit, Whore, and are all called illegals generically. Genetic en engineering and body sculpting are common. Cars, buses and trucks can run on the surface streets or the airlines. Ad blimps are everywhere. Kids have hoverboards and air bikes. Real food, 
meat, chocolate, coffee, eggs, fresh fruit, etc. is extremely expensive. So soy and veggie imitations feed the masses. Soy dogs, egg wraps, soy kebabs and veggie hash are served from glide carts on the street. Recyclers take the place of trash cans. I'll be releasing the review of Naked in Death this afternoon as well. I hope you like the in-death series as much as I do. Thank you for watching.